let's try to work on something. Maybe we can fix this. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay guys, we got this Black & Decker 20 volt uh, weed eater here. I believe, yeah, I think this was her dad's. And it did work, but it made a real weird noise like it needed oiled up. Well now, it's locked up. <laughs> so, and that's probably why it got full of water. It was sitting outside. I don't know why, but <laughs> uh, the reason why I brought this out was to use the battery. But we're gonna take this apart. Bunch of Phillips screws in there and we'll have to go get a screwdriver and we're going to try to it says no bumping so must be an automatic feed I'm not sure but we're going to take this apart and we're going to see if we can unlock that motor and uh, get this thing running again so that way monkey don't have to mess around with running a cord out and you know to to weed eat she likes to weed eat so that's what we're going to do like i said it did work but it sat outside and it got water down in there so it may not be fixable but you know we're going to try it let's see what happens let me get a screwdriver and let's just start taking some screws out and we'll go from there Okay, so I got an assortment of screwdrivers here. We can use our drill we fixed. Uh, okay, so that one will work. Did I say drill? Impact driver. So this should come off. Never had one of these apart before, so. Looks like it should just slide up out of there. There it is. Yeah, I broke that piece. Right there. I don't think it's a big deal. I'll deal with that later. So let's use our impact driver. I guess we really didn't need the impact driver. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take this metal piece off. Like I said, it's just something that normally would get thrown out, but I try to repurpose things and fix things or 
you know, repurpose, I guess, would be just building into other, making something else out of something, you know. I think those are all the same screw, so. If I can fix it, fine. If not, well, you know, that's fine too, but I can use other stuff off of this. The bar, the switch, uh, the handle, who knows? I, I can, you know, but that being full of water like that, it's not looking good. I didn't realize it was out here. I've walked past it a hundred times. I get those two. Make sure I got all the screws out. Right here. I've never had one of these part before. When it worked, it worked good. It just made a real high pitch wing noise in it when it would shut off. Make sure I got them all out here. I think so. in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's full of water. Wires. Maybe if I can this uh, extends out and goes shorter and longer. I thought maybe that might give me more room. To pull them wires out of there. And it doesn't. Yeah, that's pretty. That whole motor's pretty well gunked up. Like I said, I didn't realize it was sitting outside, or it wouldn't have been. There we go. Yeah. Um. like that gear might have been their metal gear well this one's not this one's a metal gear so let me get some penetrating something in there see if I can get this cleaned up any at all I mean, I've got more stuff working than this before, but, you know, it's a crapshoot. I got one. And these screws, what happens is the head of them rust out. And you can't really get on them to take them out. Because it just wants to strip, but... got it 
may have to unsolder them wires and soak this in something. I gotta figure out how this gear comes off of here. Might be pressed. Might be pressed on. If it is, it's probably not going to come off of there. Okay, let me let me go get some penetrating oil and stuff. If I can find my, I think it's in the boat, but I'm not sure. Let's see, it's going to be seized there too. Yeah. All right, let me get some penetrating oil. Let's sh just shoot the hell out of it and keep messing with it. And it may, it may come back to life. We'll, we'll see. I would say that's the bearing that was making that noise right there. Could have been the motor though. All right. Let me grab some penetrating fluid, oil, whatever. I'm going to grab something. We're going to spray that out. Maybe some carburetor cleaner. Get some of this rust out of here. we got to clean all this out. This is just plumb full of gunk down in here. Like grease and stuff from that gear. So we'll put new grease in it if we get it going. But let's get it cleaned up first. Got some of the speedy blaster. I don't have any brake brake parts cleaner or anything like that. So, and I forgot a, a screwdriver. Yeah, that gear that gear may be just too worn too. Once if we do get it going, I think we can get it going, but I think that gear is just. Looks awful worn. Uh, he used his tools. I mean, like me, you know, I wear them till they wear out. And then I'll either fix them or get something else. So, also got some of this stuff too. But I thought with the rust, we I would use this PB blaster. It does pretty good. A lot of guys don't like it. I I love the stuff. For rust, I think it's in. This is my opinion. I, th I think it's better than WD-40. Um, that Croil, that stuff's some good stuff, but man, it's so expensive. But uh, I think it's it's right up there with Blaster. It's really good stuff. Okay, let's let that soak. I'll spray it down a few times. I'll go get a screwdriver try to pull this off of here so we can get this off so we can work on them as a different unit so or a separate unit all right I wasn't recording <laughs> I broke that piece off of here it's plastic but the motor is turning now I just gave it a little turn with those and it it started turning right away um, let's try something let's put a battery in it okay all right well that works but now there is the deal of this little bearing back here 
on this side. And it's free. So let's stick it down in here. Well, I gotta. See. Not sure what I'm gonna do about that. Where's the. Uh, I'll find the hole. Should be right up in here where that screw came out of. Okay, let me clean this off some more. Okay, I got one of them screws back in. Let's turn them fairly free now. Let's get this down in here. Okay. Now, I'd, all I'm doing right now is I just want to make sure it's going to work. If it's going to work, then I'll clean all this up. Fill it back up full of grease. And then we'll try it out on some grass. All right, let's see. <laughs> Doesn't sound the greatest, but let me go ahead. Let me get all this cleaned out here. So there's a lot of grass and stuff still up in there. So I'm going to clean all this out. That's all full of junk and grease and stuff. See, so clear down in here. It's all grease. Yeah, that's what we'll, we'll do. I'll clean it up. I'll make sure this is full of grease. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that where that piece broke off I may just let it let it fly like that Wow <laughs> can you believe it you saw the mess we started with but I can't fix a Christmas light <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me clean this stuff up guys. I know you don't want to see that. That's pretty boring. Just I'm gonna put it in a pan or something and uh, Clean it all up The thing's about worn out anyway, but if I can get a few more times out of it, that'd be great, right? Okay, let's go ahead and grease this up It's not perfectly clean. I really didn't have anything to clean it with but I was using some some of this stuff and it started eating the plastic so you know you got to kind of watch that I'm not really kind of you you have to watch it well, there's that There it is. All right. This is self-feeding too. You don't have to. That's why it said no bumping. You don't have to tap it or anything on the ground. Let's get this back in here. I can't believe this thing's still running. Let's see. Just got some old grease here I have laying around. Kind of dirty, but 
it is what it is, right? I don't want to use my good high temp grease on this stuff. Like I say, if it works longer than it took me to fix it, I'm happy with that. <laughs> they usually fill them, them whole things up with grease, but I'm not going to fill it clear up because if it ain't touching it, it's not doing anything anyway. But I will put some down in here by this gear. And up around by that bearing. That way that'll, that gear will spread it around. Is like that this helps hold that motor all right now let's see if we can get this one on here this one should be a little easier There we go. All right, time to speed you up so I can get all these screws. Ah, uh, you can't see them. Anyway, got a handful of them here. All right, I'm gonna put all these screws back down in here. And we're almost ready to try it out. I pulled this out and made it longer. It didn't do it itself yet, but feels good. Now, let me wipe my hands off. I'll get you set up. There's some weeds over here I want to try to weed eat. Let's see how well it works. Monkey's gonna be so happy. Okay, there you go, guys. Out of three things, we fixed two. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get her something running that she didn't have to. We got an electric one in there that we got for free out of a along the road. Now she said this one works, and I know it works because I was trying to power outlet, so I kind of cheated. I do know this one works, guys. It's a black and decker too. Oh yeah. And we used it for a while, but I think the brushes are going bad in it now. It's very powerful, very powerful. But uh, it's corded. I could put new brushes in it. I may do that just to have an extra, but as long as this runs, you know, like I said, if we get more time 
out of using it than what I had fixing it and then it blows up I'm good with that it's you know I mean and that battery you know so now you know this is the drill that Dennis sent me thanks Dennis also there's other there's other ends you can get for this for this drill however it comes out you push this button down and this will pop out and you can get different ends for it um, so that's pretty cool you can right angle or whatever you can get different different attachments for that uh, I think one's a hammer drill and a couple other things impact I think one's an impact like this um, but yeah so you know he sent me that which had a battery this already had a battery so now I got two batteries for both um, yeah it's it's uh sounds good I mean like I said we'll see how long it lasts I'd like to finish that spore uh, string up in it that'd be nice but if it doesn't oh well if she gets one or two more uses out of it just to save her from having to you know drag the extension cord out usually I help I help her so you know we got to drag a long ass extension cord out and you know to go to the around the mailbox and up towards the street area so yeah even if she gets one use out of it I'm good with that but I'll keep you posted on how long it lasts you guys saw how bad it was so I'm gonna take a little break and uh, yeah I'll call that one a success then I'll clean this up and I'll see you guys in the next one Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now guys thanks again for watching appreciate it I know that wasn't all the way cleaned up inside I really don't care about it if that thing was only a couple months old and I was trying to fix it, yeah, I'd spend a little more time with it. But, this, you know, come on, this it's its about worn out as it is, you know. So, <laughs> um, I think it'll probably wear out before that goes bad again. So, we'll see. Um, I'll keep you posted on how well it's doing. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. And uh, enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs> We'll see you later. Bye-bye.